Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? You're a good girl. You know you're a good girl. Hey guys, welcome to the Doberman Life. This is the Doberman channel where we talk about everything about my Doberman, Aries. Currently, she's about 14 months old and we're gonna talk about everything that she's liked so far, her toys, little uh, gadgets, maybe some snacks that we've, you know, that she's liked the most. Um, overall, I'm really excited for this, this video, guys, because I'm excited to let you guys know what she's, what's worked for her and what's worked for us to make sure she doesn't bite the house as much, kind of stays entertained, and always has what she needs. Oh, don't you, little girl. Anyways, check out the video. See you in a bit. Hi, hi. Yeah. What? Which one do you want to talk about first? Which one? Which one do you want to talk about first? Which one do you want to tell them? Which uh, first things first, we're going to go into the one she liked when she was maybe like six months to a year old. This one was really, really good for her when she was teething because as you can see, she was able to gnaw really deeply into the butt in the peanut butter bone. Uh, we haven't really used this one in a while because I didn't like the way that uh, she kind of bit into it after a while because see how it got kind of like, I don't know, like it broke down a little bit. It made it look nasty. I don't really like using this one anymore, but she really liked it during her teething stage, which is like six months to like a year. Uh, right now, I think she's past it, but because she doesn't really gnaw as much on anything. Uh, but I think this one got her through it. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. The next one that she really liked were toys like this. So like real flimsy, like lot, lots of lots of like fur. Uh, she would really, really get into the dip, deep, deep, deep uh, portions of this of these toys and just tear them to pieces. Kind of like this one over here as well. You see how like they would grab into like the finer points of the uh, of the toy. Like little nibbles is really what she would go at. Kind of, we'll see if she does it. But those little nibbles, she would just pry at, pry at, pry at. And there were so many toys, guys, that like literally we would buy the one or two dollar ones because we knew right away within like days it was gone. So really good toy. Uh, got them at Petco. Uh, they were in the basket for like a dollar, two dollars a piece. These right here, we just let her rip through them because, I mean, that's literally all she would do. So those two toys are the type of toys that she kind of grew in through post-teething. She was into tearing, so we wanted to give her things to tear. Not the couch, not our shoes, not our socks. So we gave her plenty of toys to make sure that she was able to tear them through. And these are two that just kind of survived because we didn't throw them away. Maybe, maybe I think this was probably her first one, and this one just kind of hasn't been torn through directly. So keep a little box in there, and sometimes she'll go grab some out, or we'll take them out, which one we know which one's more stimulating. The last one that I haven't really seen her play with is this one. This one's uh, a bit too big for her, I believe, and she's not really into the whole tug of war thing. So I just wanted to bring this one out because most of all, it just didn't seem to give the satisfaction that we needed uh, overall to the, the pup's, you know, stimulation needs. Like it overall, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't hard enough for her to bite and teeth through it. Also, it's not enough. It's not playable enough for her to tear through it. So, I mean, it's fun to throw around and stuff like that, but really quickly, she'll get over this one. Last but not least was probably one of my favorite uh, things that we bought for her was this life jacket. Uh, when we went, you know, to the to the Frio River, we were able to like basically take her into the water and like, you know, let her run around and tr like hike and travel with us. And this was just really cool because I mean, the overall experience of bringing your dog along with that kind of hiking trip, it's literally phenomenal. I mean, we have some some great pictures. I'll show them to you guys. And uh, I was really excited about this one because. I mean, they get to come pretty much everywhere, even into the water with you. So those overall were like some of the best things we've had back then. Let me show you what has worked now. This one. This toy in specific has been a deal breaker. It hasn't torn, check it out, literally. I think right there is the only spot that she's torn through exactly, and that's pretty surprising. So this one is pretty, I think it was even marketed as unterrible or unbreakable or something like that. Crazy. I'll check it out and see what the product info says and I'll link it down below. This one really, really has helped. And I've even seen friends with bigger dogs have this exact same one. And I think this, the process is similar. They just can't tear it. So uh, overall, I think it's because it, the, the lines aren't, the, the hairs aren't too long or too big. So it keeps it very, very, uh, you know, low power. They can grab a lot, like a lot of it, like this one. See how she's tearing at it? 
So that's awesome. I mean, it keeps her stimulated, so I'm happy for that. This one, um, pretty good find, but check it out. Overall, these are some of the things that have worked for Aries over time and for us to keep her entertained. Uh, we try to take her out as wa on walks as much as we can and, you know, try to throw around these toys whenever she's feeling too zoomy. Um, and, you know, we take her out with some of our other Dobermans and let her play. And that usually helps as well. But overall, I mean, she's a great dog and she's always found something to play with that's a toy or something that's not really destructible. So we're really happy about that. And, and I mean, I can't complain. I can't say that I've been the best teacher, but definitely she's been a great student. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Please like our channel. Uh, we're going to be trying to give you guys more videos, more content. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. We're excited to hear from you guys. We're excited to see our channel growing. And all we want to do is share more love about Dobermans and tell you guys how awesome it is to be a Doberman owner. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.